Welcome to this video, Roger Sumukalele here. This week, students did the, this paper uh, a few days ago, and uh, this is a computer studies practical, and uh, it has been bringing out a lot of discussion in the teachers, uh, especially when it comes to the number of database, uh, the number of database, number of database was number three here. Uh, so this number here, uh, many teachers are really uh, discussing a lot about it. So I've been tempted to try it out, um, try to try try to do it here. I've already actually done it, but I'm going to be uh, sharing some insights about this particular number. Yeah. So um, this number here, it required a number of things. If I look at, uh, for example, the uh, the table here, it required the um, creating this table. It, it, it has a student ID. Uh, these are numbers. And then we have text here. We have text. We have the date. Uh, the date here, they changed. It was ma month and then a day. That's why you see 8th, 24th. 8, that is August 24th. And uh, there's also another number here. It required the uh, to be created in a database called student records and a table called students data and then uh, populating the data in the table. So as you can see here, uh, try to do uh, this table here. If I go to design view, uh, creating a table in design view, you can say I have the number, uh, student ID is a number, this is date, and uh, the format here is math first, then day. And uh, this one here is the uh, nationality. I try to do uh, a lookup wizard and um, put their um, uh, countries because in this case we had the, uh, around 30 countries we had Ugandan, uh, Tanzanian and then the, so I, I could do uh, some kind of um, lookup wizard here so that it can help in uh, putting in uh, Ugandan uh, Ugandan Ugandan then we have Kenyan then we have Tanzanian uh okay okay so yeah so that is the basically then this one is also a number so this is the student's table then after that uh the question required to enter the data here so as you can see i've uh, tried to enter this data here starting from uh a cheng with 101 and entering all that data so here my lookup wizard is there so Pavin Agatha, if I look at Pavin Agatha, he's Ugandan. So I can be able to select Ugandan here, put in his data, and then that was a number asking for entering data. Okay, so after entering the data, um, the question asked for uh, populating, yeah, that is entering the data, and then the table is called students data. That is the students data table in the database called uh, students records. Then you populate the data that is entering the data. Then there was this query, create a query to filter out students whose first names start with the D. And those whose last names start with the I. So like me uh, coming to the class and I say, uh, let all students from Palisa and those who come from Ginger stand up. So something like this um, is what is here. So of course it causes some kind of confusion. Uh, in this kind of query, so I created this query here, and it is bringing uh, the students, um, uh, the students whose names start with the D. Uh, these ones are the students. They wanted those with uh, uh, first names. First names. So these are the first name. I have Daphne and Daisy, and then even those whose last names start with I. So I have also a Gava and the Ivali. So yeah, both students. But in databases, we have uh, what you call the AND operator and the OR operator. This is what could confuse here. So in this case here, I said those who start with the D and then I use the uh, OR, those who start with the I. So I get both. If I was to say AND, so this is the same thing as uh, putting here the or operator. So the or operator D like D or like R like I. So I could try to zoom in like D or like I. 
so this would do run this would bring uh, the students in this case it is bringing uh, those who are this is first name but um if i if 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 i had wanted the and okay so i have like i and then i also put it here uh like or if i was to put it in the same column um yeah so if you put it in the same column here okay so if i i run you'd find that it would bring an empty set in this case it is trying to get those who have both last name and, uh, i and the first name d if i put it in the same column so this is where the question was as coming in from was this query supposed to bring an empty set or we to get students who have both the uh the, the the first name starting with d and last name for example uh there is a ugumba mm -hmm. so all all they wanted is the dices and then the ugumbas so this is the really the question but what i'm saying here they wanted the students whose first names start with d and those if they had wanted uh to have both themselves get filter out students whose first name start with d and last names start with i but once they said and those so they, that meaning they were looking at different kind of students so that's why we could have we had to use the the i because of the those and the those that means they're not saying the same but if they had wanted uh to have if they had wanted to have this as a um uh, uh if they had wanted it to be um um different then they would have said uh get the students whose last names start with the d first name start with the d and last name start with i but they said first name start with the d and those whose first name start with i so that means it is not an empty query according to what i can see here so this was the query which was causing issues then there is um another uh issue here with the uh another query so uh date of birth between uh so this is another query that was asked okay so this was query one and then uh, another query uh query two is here in this one here i've just uh put uh this kind of um of query criteria of between uh this have to be in hashes uh accordingly so i've used that and then i've managed to have my query running and um also um they're asking for uh entering student record and then generating a report uh with name and personal number so i've also um they are saying here um generate generate a report from query two and save it as your name and the personal number okay so uh report so when i come to the reports here i can be able to uh get this and they want it to be called uh, name and the personal number so i would have Mukadele, um rogers 201 mm. okay so that is the that is the report um using the report wizard yeah report wizard to create this kind of report uh which have created here so i just wanted to give a quick overview i've not done uh, 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 from scratch the number because i want to keep this video short yeah but um yeah i hope um everything is okay in this particular number you can let me know what you think uh regarding this number but uh, i think it wasn't uh really very difficult but as you can say always always um always uh past papers are simple yeah so thank you very much uh for watching and i'll be resuming making some videos uh, on uh, uh, past paper questions of your name and put them on the shareability uh, youtube channel and uh yeah we should be able to uh continue utilizing in case you have not yet please subscribe to our channel uh, click the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on videos about other numbers that are going to be in this particular paper. Thank you very much.